Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy Pete Ross back in the building. And if you're looking for a dope VPN, check out NordVPN plus anti malware protection, okay? I'll leave my affiliate link down in the description for y'all to check that out. Enjoy threat protection, block trackers, and malware. Get two years of reliable VPN service for $3.29 a month. Get into it, y'all. Peace. Yo, look at this. I cannot believe this. Once again, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. <laughs> yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy, Pete Ross, and we are back in the building with another video. You know what I mean? Check this out. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You know what? It's been a rainy day today. We had thunderstorms. We had lightning. We had everything today here in the Midwest. You understand what I'm saying? But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. Peace. Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy, Pete Ross, and once again, we are in the building. Now when I tell y'all I struck gold, I struck gold, or did I strike old? I definitely struck old because we found a rare vintage 1954 Timex Marlin in the building, in the place to be. You understand what I'm saying now? Check this out. This is a rare vintage watch, right? But I believe it was the first Marlin model, okay? from 1954 because I can't find nothing before 54 as far as a Timex Marlin, okay? Now this watch is the bomb shiggity. It actually came on the original bracelet, but of course I had to take it off and put this dope leather strap on there that I got, you know what I mean? Because the, the bracelet, it was just too small. It was too small for my wrist. Plus, it was kinda ugly. It was really kinda ugly. And the watch itself, this is a beautiful watch in pristine condition, as you can see. And if you have been around for a while, you know Timex is one of my favorite watch companies from the Marlin to the Viscount to the Mercury. These Venice watches are some of the best Venice watches that you could buy. Now, when we go through Timex history, Okay, from 1854 to 1944, they were the Waterbury Clock Company, okay? But from 1944 to 1969, they became the United States Time Corporation, all right? Which came up with the slogan, it takes a licking and keeps on ticking. And this watch is definitely ticking away. But check this out, sales declined after the Korean War in the 1950s. Let me give a shout out first of all to all the vets that served in the Korean War that's with us and gone. You know what I mean? My father was one of those vets. So shout out to y'all. Because of the diminishing defense orders, the United States Time Corporation president was convinced that an inexpensive watch would be a market success. And it was both accurate and durable. Thus, takes a licking and keep on ticking. He basically felt that low cost could be accomplished through the combination of automation. The precise tooling techniques used in making fuse timers and a simpler design than that of high priced Swiss watches. Durability was accomplished through a new hard alloy called Armaloid developed through wartime research. Armaloid was used to produce long wearing bearings replacing the expensive jewels traditionally used in a watch movement. These innovations led to the debut of the Timex brand in 1950, though the name was used on a smaller trial shipment of nurses' watches in 1945. Russ Albin's slogan, Timex, it takes a licking and keeps on ticking, was said by John Cameron Swayze, who was widely viewed as the most credible newsman in the United States. So they decided to hire him as a company spokesman for live torture tests. The commercials included, and if you've seen these commercials, these commercials are highly entertaining if you ask me. And the commercials included high divers, water skiers, a dolphin, dishwashers, jackhammers, paint mixers, and a propeller of a motorboat 
each torturing a Timex freaking watch. This was incredible, yo. Now there's no way that these vintage watches, they could stand up to this type of scrutiny today. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even wear this watch in the shower, let alone I'd be hesitant to even wear it in the rain. Yeah, it says waterproof, but after a while, you know what? Don't even try it. So just keep it away from water altogether. But let's get into some of the specs of this watch. The case is a 33 millimeter case, um, 42 millimeter lug to lug, 12 millimeters thick, 17 millimeter lug width. Crystal, of course, is acrylic. You know what I mean? I took some poly watch and polished out most of the uh, scratches that was in the crystal. And if you ask me, for a watch from 1954, it looks perfectly outstanding. Now look at this thing on the wrist. I want to know how y'all feel about this strap I got on it. You know what I mean? It matches perfectly with the seconds hand that's on this watch and it's the bomb shiggity, yo. We are ending this video right now. I would like to just thank everybody who watched my videos, comment on the videos. You know what I mean? I do all this for y'all. So you know what I mean? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channels and every watch YouTuber's channel because what we do, we do for the love of this hobby, period. You know what I mean? So yo, this your boy P. Ross. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we up out of here. Peace.